that launch will not happen if you're living with a luke, lukewarm heart. Passion is a very important part of this process. It fires the soul I and mean, it, it fills the spirit. It, it's going to energize your heart and your mind. In, in order for you to jump, take this launch to a higher plane of performance, you need that passion. Passion also keeps you going when you're hit with problems or when you're hit with uncertainty. If something goes wrong, passion's always there to keep, keep you going. But passion itself must be fueled. And you feed that flame with visions of a dream that is just dramatic, that gives you that purpose. The emotional intensity inside must burn hot enough to protect you against the chilling effects of doubt, of uncertainty, of criticism, of failure. Only a very, very, very deep desire can generate such heat to overcome that. For you to care this intensely, of course, there must be something worth caring about, something remarkable, something special, something precious enough to light the fire in your heart. What this means is that you have to loosen the limits, the limits on your thinking. You have to give yourself permission to pursue what you want most. The climate becomes right for a launch only when you are passionately drawn to a particular goal. So, let your deepest desires direct your aim. You need to set your sights, and I talk about setting goals all the time, but you need to set your sights far beyond what people would consider a reasonable target. The power of purpose becomes profound only if you have a desire that really stirs up your heart, that really gets you motion, moving, gets you to have emotion in the morning when you wake up, something you, you're, you're driven towards. Your inner drive must be strong enough to carry you past that point of wishful thinking, which is where a lot of people live. <clears throat> they, they see something they want and they wish for it, and they hope for it, but you need that passion. You need to fall in love in order to really go after it. The dream must consume you. It must control you. It must drive you to action, completely disallowing any sort of half-hearted effort in the pursuit. Launches, particularly chiral launches, are an act of love. They're a passionate statement of how you care for the thing that you seek. Only an emotional move holds the power to carry you the distance from where you are now to where you want to be after the launch. So let your heart take charge of your body. If you have a magnificent obsession, then you are poised for a launch. And we're talking about falling in love. Uh, and every time I do, it reminds me of a story about a man who goes to see a guru on top of a mountain in search of the secret of success. Uh, unfortunately for the man, the guru lives in one of the most remote, hard to reach villages in the mountains of Peru. But this man is determined to meet with this guru. So he fights his way through you know, snow up to his waist. He encounters dangerous wild animals and he powers through even after losing some of his supplies. Also that he could reach the top of that mountain even though he's broken and tired, just to meet with his guru. So he finds the guru in his temple, and the guru's in deep meditation. And the man sits in front of him, this motionless holy man for an hour before the guru even opens up his eyes. And the man calls out, he says, Wise one, I come seeking the secret to success. Without saying a word, the guru stands up and walks out to a lake nearby. The man follows. Still silent, the guru gestures for the man to kneel. And when he does, the guru grabs him by the head and forces his head into the water. Surprised, <laughs> the man fights back. He tries to get his head out of the water, but the guru is too strong. And he keeps holding him under for over a minute. You know, so the man's chest is burning. His lungs are, you know, are screaming. He needs to breathe. He's desperate to breathe. He believes he's going to die. And just as start, things start to go black, the guru pulls him back up. The man, obviously angry and coughing, shouts, hey, are you insane? You know, I could have been killed there. And the guru stared him in the eyes and said, well, you wanted to know the secret of success. So here's my answer. A few moments ago, when you wanted so badly to take another breath that your body burned for it, if you yearn for success that badly, if you live your life with that passion and that motivation, then you will have success. Now, the guru in this story takes his job pretty seriously, but the point is clear. You need to have passion for that success. You need to have passion for that growth that you're looking for, for that vision that you have. Whatever it is, it must be the fuel that drives you. I've been talking a lot about having happiness in your life and for your goal to be happiness or something that, that you want so badly that you're willing to put days worth of work into it to get that thing. 
too many people put days worth of work into it to get success that somebody else told them that they should want. And they don't have a passion for it. They're just going through the daily grind. And it makes the daily grind miserable. And even when they get to their destination, uh, they're not as happy as they thought they would be. Do what drives your passion and you will launch way past wishful thinking. But again, your dream must consume you. It has to control you. You have to be completely present in your day's activities, knowing what you're moving towards. Half-hearted efforts are not going to do the job here. Half-hearted efforts are not going to get you over the finish line. Launches in business or in life are an act of love. You're making a statement with everything you do about what drives you. And while this next statement that I'm going to say might be cliche, kind of a little bit cheesy, it rings true to what I've experienced in my own life and my own business. Love what you do and you will not work another day in your life.